Hi folks, this is Dr. Rob Sivers. I am the Carb Addiction Doc, and today I want to talk about something very, very important that I'm asking your support with. And the question, the title of this topic is this. Is keto, is low-carb eating a cult? Is carnivore a cult? More and more over the last uh, decade or so, the visibility and the demonization of cults has become more and more front and center. And as we've evolved to, to depending on and living our lives through social media, and social media being a very, very important purveyor of information, rightly or wrongly, social media has very, very great power. And the concern is when those that uh, uh, govern social media, decide something's a cult, by the push of a button, they can destroy that cult, they can cut that cult off. Whether you agree or disagree, what happened this week is that President Trump's Twitter account was cancelled. Rightly or wrongly, with a push of a button, his entire messaging has been destroyed. And I don't care if you agree or disagree with a person. The, the problem that I have, and if any of you are listening to this, that are low-carb, high-fat, that practice in the space, that um, have tried carnivore diets, have had some success in low-carb eating, understand that we are one grain of sand in this mountain of people that tell us what we're doing is not only not good, it's dangerous. Keto will kill you. Red meat will kill you. You've got to eat carbohydrates. It's fat that causes the problem. Lipids cause heart. There is this mountain of noise. And we are but a grain of sand. And the danger is, as over the next three to four years, I believe more and more cults are going to be crushed. Some of them correctly, in my opinion. But again, I'm biased in that regard. Some of them, very dangerously so. Because our society goes from having this broad spectrum of opinions, which you may or may not disagree with, to being narrow-focused. And if that narrow focus is wrong, we're in all kinds of shit as a society. So please, 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 folks, get the word out there that keto is health, that keto is not a cult. And as such, we, this past year, under the leadership of Doug Reynolds, have established an organization called SMHP, the Society for Metabolic Health Practitioners. It's not a keto society, it's not a low-carb society, it's a society for anybody, whether you're an athletic trainer, a dietitian, a nutritionist, a physician, a nurse practitioner, anybody, a coach practicing in the low-carbohydrate metabolic space. Please join this organization because we need a unified voice. We need enough of a broad spectrum of representation across all society by a variety of different social media outlets at medical schools, at universities, in hospitals, in society that we can no longer be called a cult and squashed by the push of a button by canceling anything with the word keto or carbohydrate on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, or on YouTube. We are not a cult, we are healthcare. But they can use that against us, and that's a concern. For example, there was massive representation by a whole spectrum of individuals at the opening here, open hearings for the US Dietary Guidelines Committee that every five years formulates the best diet for Americans. That group consists of a bunch of anti-ketogenic people, mostly plant-based, with agendas from pharma, with agendas from big food manufacturers. No matter what we said as individuals, we were just little grains of sand dropping on their table. How much noise does a little grain of sand make? Nothing. And they did not care about us. You know what their statement was? There's not enough evidence that cutting back carbohydrates is of any health benefit. Why? Because they couldn't hear grains of sand dropping on the desk that was in front of them. And they are going to result in the death and the establishment of illness 
for so many people that they affect. Not just us individuals with guidelines, but in school feeding policy, in older old age home, in prison philosophy, in hospital-based diets. They're going to affect so many people in a negative way over the next five years. Diabetes rates, obesity rates, COVID deaths are going to go through the roof because of those guidelines that are erroneous because they could not hear grains of sand falling on a desk. In five years' time, Let's drop a brick, let's drop a rock on that table. And the way you establish a rock is if you take every grain of sand and you squash it together to form this cohesive bond that is a rock that they will not be able to ignore. We are not a cult, but if we are grains of sand, a little breeze can blow us away. If we are a rock, If we become that third rock from the sun, and maybe the fourth rock as well when we move to Mars, then we will have a voice. Please, 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 if you practice in the metabolic space, join the SMHP, the Society for Metabolic Health Practitioners. Google it out there and join up. Let's be a cohesive voice. Let's be that rock that they cannot call a cult that they cannot get rid of by the push of a button. Because if you've tried this way of eating, you know it is the proper human diet. And that ultimately is our interest. Our interest is not money. Our interest is not power. Our interest is humanity and healthy humans. And if we stand together, we can be the rock that a grain of sand cannot be. I I would like to thank Doug Reynolds for starting this, but it's not about Doug. Doug is just the engineer of this rock. It takes every one of you standing together, attaching yourself to this growing thing. Whether you agree completely with everything or not, if this is your general philosophy, stand together. Keto is not a cult. It's died once after Dr. Adkins died. Let's stand together. Let's convince human beings to be as healthy as they can be. SMHP. I'm a member. 